My friends think I'm too picky. They're like, you can't just tell you can't just not go out with the guy because you know he doesn't have a job or a car because he's a small penis. You know, he could be good at other things. <laughs> like what? Math? What? I have a girlfriend who's dating a guy who doesn't even have a car. It's like okay, this isn't fucking high school, assholes. This isn't Manhattan, you know? You need to get a car. I don't care if it's a piece of shit car. I used to drive a Toyota Echo, okay? I don't know if you all know what that looks like, but it's so little you don't even have to put it in reverse. You just pick it up and turn it around. a solid one night stand in LA. I tried to bring some waiter home with me on New Year's. I put in like two and a half hours of prime time Chelsea time. You no? Know? And we get back to my place. He goes, I don't feel comfortable spending our first night together. It's like, listen, Lupe, this is our last fucking night, all right? Get your hopes up. Get out that pinata. Let's get this party started. There's some sick stuff going on in LA with men, single men. I wanna talk about it, okay? I wanna talk about it. And now I'm just as much of a romantic as the next girl. <laughs> but if I'm dating slash sleeping with a guy and he shows up on my doorstep with anal beads and a flashlight, <laughs> I'm gonna ask a couple of questions. Like, what's up with the flashlight? Question, do you guys think it's okay to drink while you're pregnant if you're planning on giving the baby up for adoption? 